to show you how to make milk tart or for the South Africans it's well known as milk tart and this is um, very well loved by the South Africans and I would like to show you today a healthy version of that milk so I've got soy milk here it's four cups okay we're gonna heat that up to just about simmering and while that is heating up we're going to mix together. We've got some cold soy milk here. So I'm going to take about half. This is one cup here. So all together for the recipe, we're using five cups of soy milk. So I'm going to take a little bit there. And it's really important for those who do know if you work with semolina or uh, cornstarch or custard powder, it must be cold milk. So we're going to add our three tablespoons, heaped tablespoons of semolina. That's the first one we're gonna be adding to our milk when it is ready. While that's heating up, we'll add our vanilla. Two teaspoons of, I've got here, natural vanilla essence. Our milk is just about reaching boiling point, so just give this another little stir. Our semolina mixture and we're going to add it and it's good to add it before it's boiling otherwise it might thicken too quickly or you can't keep up with the boiling milk and you don't want a big mess <laughs> okay then in the meantime while that is cooking i'm going to add the rest of my thickening agents we've got here three heaped tablespoons of uh, cornstarch and then we've got our three heaped tablespoons of custard powder. Okay, I'll just actually take it off um, for a bit. Right, now we'll add the rest of our soy milk. Just mix that nicely together so that there's no lumps. Put that back on. Okay, and then we're going to add our mixture now. Just slowly pour it in. It's going to thicken quite quickly. Just keep stirring well. And I'm going to turn this down a bit more. Uh, okay, I put it off. Okay, and just continue stirring for about a, another minute or two so that's all well cooked and well thickened you can see it's bubbling so that's good here is our sweet vegan pastry pie crust which we have already pre-baked and you can check out how we made it on a previous video Okay, before we put it in there, we're gonna add our honey. Last but not least, four tablespoons of lovely raw honey. That's why we don't want to be boiling it. We add it at the end. Okay, just stir that through well. Otherwise, some people will get the sweetness and others won't. Okay, and then we're gonna pour this into our pre-baked pie crust. And it is for best results, you're going to want to set it overnight. So after you've finished pouring that in, um, you need to put it in the, you can put it in the refrigerator if you want, if you want it to set quicker, or you can leave it on the counter for the first part. And you, best, as I mentioned earlier, is to put it overnight. If you do it in the morning early and you need it for the evening, that should work as well. But for it to be nice so that you can slice it and serve it on a plate, overnight is best. Here we have our finished milk tart or milk tart. Now to finish it off, normally at, once it's cooled down, we normally sprinkle some cinnamon on the top. Now because cinnamon is actually a stomach irritant, I have used carob. So I've put carob in uh, just a normal cinnamon sprinkler and I've sprinkled that over. I've done some hearts. You first put your little paper hearts on and then you sprinkle and then you remove them and then you have your pattern. So feel happy 
um, to enjoy your delicious, healthy milk tart.